All right, welcome back to this week's video series on helping our students turn their Zoom screens on. Now, I know this is something that will make all of our classes just so much better if we can get our students to keep their screens on. And so last week I shared a little bit about all of these different ideas that you could start thinking about. Today I want to go a little bit deeper and give you some examples for the number two, open with a show and tell bell ringer. What a great way to get your students involved right away on Zoom and to be able to show something and on the screen and, and share a little bit about it that has to do with your lesson to kind of lead into the lesson in the day as well. And so here's a few suggestions for this next week's lessons coming up in 2 Nephi 11 through 2 Nephi 19 with the Doctor of Mastery 4 lesson as well. So each of these bell ringers that I came up with, uh, a show and tell bell ringer, I looked at kind of the lesson and I just looked at kind of where is it going, what is the purpose of it, and what maybe is the, the starter activity that they're doing. And then I just tried to think, well, what's something I can simply just ask them to go find to be able to share it and tell about it really quick to start our class that will actually lead into and help build where we're going to be going during that class. And so here's a few ideas I had in Second Nephi 11. Uh, it's talking about witnesses, and so I just thought, hey, you could ask your students really quick, go grab something in your home that someone would have to see it to believe it, a.k.a. be a witness of, right? And just let them go grab things and, and just don't spend too much time on the sharing here, but just invite different students at different times to share what they found, and I, I don't think you need to ask everybody to share, but be purposeful about switching it around when you do so. So that's a great idea. They can they can come back and just be like, ah, oh, this is what I got. <laughs> you wouldn't believe that we had it unless you saw it. You know, and they can kind of share a little bit about themselves too. Second Nephi 12, 15, another show and tell bell ringer to get them into that lesson would be you're gonna be talking about the best first worst and uh kind of the the last days and what's best about being and living in the last days and what's worst. And so you might ask them to go find something in their home and be ready to share something that represents opposites. This idea of best versus worse or the, the opposites that come into our lives and see that opposites aren't so bad when we talk about the last days uh, and the best and the worst. And that could be a, another cool kind of fun show and tell bell ringer. Now, 2 Nephi 16, it's talking about holy, holy, holy is the Lord. So you might be able to grab something and say, grab something that's holy, that makes them feel good about themselves because this lesson is going to talk a lot about uh, times when we feel inadequate, but how the Lord clean, cleanses us and forgives us and, and loves us and, and makes us holy uh, even with our inadequacy at times. So great little fun idea. You might think of a better one to go show and tell and, and grab. Uh, 2 Nephi 7 through 17 through 19. Sorry, that's a typo there. Uh, this is the, the beginning of this lesson is inviting you to kind of talk about how helpful these different people would be and, and describing them. And so you might actually, again, have them go grab something that describes one of four different people and make sure that students get one of each of the four. So grab, grab something that describes or represents a doctor to you, a police officer is two, a bishop, number three, and a young woman president. And let them be creative and just go grab something and then you can use that as well, whatever they grabbed to show and tell, to kind of show again and, and talk about as you begin talking about this in the lesson if you look at the, the lesson manual. And then Dr. Mastery Ford lesson, uh, it's, it's talking about uh, the opportunity that, that represents your go-to, what do you go to in a moment of crisis or, or unknown, what's your go-to to, kind of get you through that. So you might invite them to go find something that to them represents their go-to in a moment of crisis or unknown. Maybe they'll grab their scriptures. Maybe they'll <laughs> try to pull their mom into the room. I don't know. They might grab something to show and tell uh, what's their go-to of a moment of crisis. And again, if you look at that lesson, it's going to be a great setup to, to help you um, get into the lesson and have a good experience with your students. Now, I would suggest to Many of these ideas go hand in hand with the 
ideas that are being shared in the lesson gem videos for each lesson this week. So I would highly recommend if you're thinking about using some of these show and tell bell ringers, be sure to think about the bell ringer and then go to the lesson gem that week so that you get some more thoughts and ideas on how you can make this the best lesson and engage your students early on over Zoom and get their screens on in, in class. So I hope that helps. I hope you have fun uh, helping your students get their screens on with some show and tell bell ringers this week.